Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video tutorial on Rust and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys some some of my recent settings for Rust and also this new bind that I found out that helps me in PvP with the new recoil update. So let's get right into it. So for our settings here, this is pretty much not changed. This is all pretty much personal preference. You want 90 FOV, the main ones are 90 FOV and you don't want these gibs on. Um, and then this is all personal preference. Basically for the audio, this you can turn it higher by doing higher than one by doing audio.master and then like two or something if you want it really loud for whatever reason but for all these are i have these off this it, this is like christmas events and stuff but the game sounds this is pretty much like all the sounds that you hear in game obviously and if you turn this down your headshots will be louder like when you hit someone in the head um i have mine at point three i think this is a good level for me personally i can still hear footsteps and stuff like that um but you want your for the speaker config you always want it on stereo because that's the best audio um and then for the input settings you're going to want to not mess with these for now because i'm going to show you that bind later um and then between borderless and exclusive, these are pretty much the same. Exclusive just minimizes your thing when you tab out. Um, but there's really no difference. I'm just on 1080p for the purpose of this video recording. Um, and then I set this as high as I can and you can change these however you want. Uh, Depending on your computer, you can change this from like three to six. Once you go below three, it starts looking pretty bad in the game. And I have my shadows all the way up because I like the way the shadows look. It doesn't really affect your performance too much <laughs> or FPS, sorry. Um, and then all these don't really matter to me. These are pretty much like PVP binds, but it still looks, it still makes the game look good. This you obviously want at max because that's render distance. And this is personal. If you want to displace grass, I would probably have that on because if you're trying to find like a gun or something in the grass. Um, and then having this on uh, reflex mode instead of on plus boost is better. I've seen that in a lot of places Just for whatever reason. I don't know. And then for the mesh quality here, you can copy down these settings. These have what worked for me and it makes my look, my game look well or good, sorry. Um, and then all these don't really matter except sharpen. That basically makes the images sharper around the edges, I guess. I like that on. And I just have this on. It doesn't really matter if it doesn't really do much. And, um, that's it. Alright guys, so I just loaded into UKN uh, targets. So here is the bind right here. Um, so basically this is going to be your ADS sensitivity right here uh, while crouching. And this number right here is going to be your sensitivity while standing up uh, ADS. So for me, I personally use this and then leave that as one and it might so i'm pressing control right now which is my duck like crouch key it does that sometimes you just gotta go in and bind it back oh shoot bind it back to uh, control and then it'll work and it'll have your sensitivity here so like it's a little slower so basically yeah this helps you a lot when stand up spraying because you can still use like you get why it's helpful but you can use different sensitivity for standing up and uh, crouching see like I can pretty much I can almost spray like standing up from here 
which is pretty insane but yeah that's the tutorial guys hope you guys enjoyed that um make sure to give it a like and share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel give it a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one